Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1267 of our trek, and time for our three minute mini trek called Humor Unplugged. Our Thursday podcast will provide you with a clean and short, funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and provide a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 30 a cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is titled, Two Thanksgiving Funnies. In honor of Thanksgiving Day in the United States, today we will have two funny segments. The first one is... Thanksgiving weather forecast. Turkeys will thaw in the morning, then warm in the oven to an afternoon high of 190 degrees. The kitchen will turn hot and humid. If you bother the cook, be ready for a severe squall or a cold shoulder. During the late afternoon and evening, the cold front of a knife will slice through the turkey, causing an accumulation of 1 to 2 inches on the plate. Mashed potatoes will drift across one side, while cranberry sauce creates slippery spots on the other and this will come with a passing of gravy. A weight watch and an indigestion warning have been issued for the entire area, with increased stuffiness around the beltway. During the evening, the turkey will diminish and taper off to leftovers, dropping to a low of 45 degrees in the refrigerator. Looking ahead to Friday and Saturday, high pressure to eat sandwiches will be established. Flurries of leftovers can be expected both days, with a 50% chance of a scattering of soup late in the day. We expect a warming trend where the soup develops. By early next week, eating pressure will be low, as the only wish left will be the bone. And now on to our second funny. The eight signs that you overdid it this Thanksgiving. Number one, paramedics bring the jaws of life to pry you out of your recliner. Number two, you get grass stains on your behind after a walk, but you never sat down. Number three, you receive a sumo wrestling application in your email. Number four, you set off three earthquake seismographs on your morning jog Friday. Number five, pricking your finger for cholesterol screening yields only gravy. Number six, you have five TV sets side by side to catch all the football games. Number seven, representatives from the Butterball Hall of Fame have called twice. And number eight, Your arms are too short to reach the keyboard and stop this nonsense. I hope that brought a smile to your face today. If it did, pass your smile on to someone else. We could all use a good smile every day. Our Thursday thought is, Thanksgiving is great because people tend to speak less when food is lodged in their mouths. And our verse for today is Psalms chapter 100 verse 4. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. That's the best thought for Thanksgiving ever. And I want to thank Mikey's Funny for our humor today at Mikey'sFunnies.com. And just as you enjoy these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,266 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life... Together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy 
each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.